Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, 65 Lokes here, Scale Riders. Um, made it all the way up north. I'm at Luis's house. He's gonna show me his uh, model cars. Uh, let's go, let's check it out. Shout out to Malo. All right, so we're out here chilling out, Luis's house. Let's see what he's got over here. Dude, what's all this, dude? Uh, some future projects I got here in the works. Kind of neglected. Dang. Um, so this one's been going on for a while now. It's um, El Rey. Um, it's just primer. I have the doors cut open. I got the, 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 the top off. It's just in primer right now. I don't nice. know how well you can see that. I added a little teardrop. Yeah, let's check Perfect. that out. I don't know how well. Yeah, I remember seeing that being like, what the heck? How'd you do that? <laughs> Was it, how'd you, yeah, how'd you do it though? Um, I think I tried start, starting off with like styrene, mm -hmm. like cutting out the shape, and then just gluing it on there and then rounding off the edges. But I think it ended up being just glue, and I ended up just shaping it nice. with like files and sandpapers. Yeah, it must have been a process, I bet. Yeah, I don't know what's in the trunk. Uh, I know I have the panels, the side panels somewhere, but not here. Yeah. And then the frame is just all smoothed out. Wow. I was gonna do some body work. Uh huh. Nice. Yeah, that's that. I have the inner fenders cut out. I need to mold them right here. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks very different. Mm -hmm. Nice. They're very clean right there. So, yeah, those are gonna be molded right mm -hmm. there. Um, that's El Ray right there. I still got a long way to go for that. Um, here's another one I'm working on. It's a 1978 Ford. Originally, out of the box, it's supposed to be a a long bin, but I cut the the the, uh, the bed off and made it like a short bin. What I also did on the inside of the bed was I used this panel from another truck and I just flipped it. So now it has two identical um, inner panels. So the other one, it didn't have it. The other one does have it, but it's just like mm. a longer version. Okay. Oh, right on. Yeah. Nice. It's like a longer wheel wheel. Tight. Um, but yeah, that's in the works. This is supposed to be like a replica of my wheel truck. Mm -hmm. Is that a uh, Mobius um, kit or, so. or is this an AMT? Uh, AMT, I think. Okay. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Damn. That's that. Here's a frame for a Um Here's another one I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. It's a 1978 Ford Bronco. Uh-huh. It's cool. It's just sealed up, just to keep it out of dust. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. So what, what are you using there? Um, this, what, is it, what kind of plastic is that? I'm not sure what type of plastic it is, but it's the the one they use for... Like the cer like, ceram wrap? For like food and stuff? Yeah, yeah, all right, cool. So that's that. I never thought about doing that. That's yeah. a good idea. That way it doesn't get dusty or damaged. Yeah, bad. I got the idea from Tony Johnson uh -huh. out in Texas. Oh, sweet. Um, I, started, I saw him like do it on his Instagram stories and I thought it was pretty cool. So I started doing that as well. Yeah, AKA Fab King. Fab King, shout out to him. <laughs> yeah. Did an amazing work with the RC stuff. Yeah, that thing's bad. Yeah, so this is supposed to be like a blue, uh -huh. and then maybe like a white top. The, I'm not sure what, to, what you call this, the shell or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's that. Here's the other pieces for that. This is an old, old kit I did. It was supposed to be for my brother. A Lightning, he, he's a big fan of these trucks. Um, but it's like super old and this is rattle can um, yeah dang this was back when i did i didn't even know much about airbrushes uh-huh um that's nice 
Yeah, I, want, I need to do another version of this, mm -hmm. an updated version. Yeah. Um, and then here's the Camaro. Dude, uh, this is the one I've never seen. Yeah. I saw I, you, you showed me like a picture, but I was like, wait, what? When did you do that? <laughs> Dude, this is clean. Yeah. Rattle can too? Or uh, no, Airbrush. Airbrush. Nice. Yeah. So you went from, was this the second one? Or? This was pretty recent, actually. Um, oh, okay. It was supposed to be for a friend in high school. Uh -huh. He kept bugging me about making him a car. And then yeah. I made him a car, and here it is. I, yeah. just, I just noticed the bumper's not on there. Uh -huh. Where's he at, though? He bounced? No, he's like, man, I don't want it. No. <laughs> he never oh, reported. He just, that was it. Yeah. He was gone. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's it. Man, and then over here, this one right here. You got to tell me about this one. The, uh, let me take off my setter real quick. All right, go. Because this one has, uh, you guys can see patterns underneath the trunk lid. Yeah, so that black one is supposed to be a replica of a car out in San Diego, I believe. Um, I think the car, the name of the car is Karma 64. And um, yeah, it's just a replica from his car. Uh, the main focus right now is the trunk. I did all the panels out. I cut all the panels out, the openings. Um, so these are all small individual pieces of styrene here. Yes, about mm, three, four, Maybe like six pieces of styrene mm -hmm. in wow. total. Um, I still need to count the ones that are gonna go behind the panel, like in the openings. But yeah, I primered it today. Um, I think the next step is just figure out the LEDs. Uh, I haven't really said much about the LEDs, um, but that's uh, that's the plan. Light it all up like the real car. Yeah, I really love this combo though, with the black and red interior. Yeah, it's one of my favorites too. Yeah, it looks really, really well. And and then I like the, like just the way the styrene is all shaped. It looks super clean. It's all thin. Whenever I try to work styrene, mm -hmm. it's always like thick or a lot of glue. Um, yeah. But this here just looks super clean. Yeah. Um, That's tight. I took a long time doing the trunk panels, making sure they fit all right, mm -hmm. so there's no openings, um, or any like big um, yeah, like gaps and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, and that's cool. And then it also there's patterns on the inside. inner fenders, yeah, wow. on the inner fenders, on top and bottom. Uh huh. Um, the dash, as you can see right here. I don't know how well you can see. Wow. That. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Damn. And then, I'm trying to remember, I think that's it on oh, the firewall. The firewall is in the box. Let me mm -hmm. see if I can pull that out real quick. Um, Steve Nash, put the knife. Here's the. Oh, there it is. The. What do you call it? The firewall? Yeah. That's the firewall. That's sweet. Um, yeah, I think that's it for the. And then this this is the one you were you were telling me while back that there's not that many reference pictures to this no it was kind of hard because the owner he doesn't post much of the car mm -hmm. and if he does post about it they're like kind of like pictures taken from like a distance mm -hmm. so but i had a friend uh he hooked it up with some photos and then the owner sent them to him and then he sent them to me so i got those reference pictures nice yeah that's cool, man. It's just getting there. Yeah, slowly, I mean, man. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I mean, there's no rush, especially when you're doing a, a replica. Yeah. You don't want to rush The last it. time you saw it, I think it was in primer. Oh, okay, yeah, the stages of yeah. it. Yeah, and I think it was the old the old trunk setup. I remember you took a photo of it at the dead end Custom Capital. Mm -hmm. and, um, or I had the three pumps right there. So that's going to be mm -hmm. the next step, like um, making my own pumps. Uh -huh. Hopefully I can go over to Armando's house and we can machine those. Yeah. Myself. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he could teach me how to do that. Yeah, you gotta learn, dude. Yeah. Yes. And then once you learn that, then once I get the pumps uh, created, the next step will be the making the lines. The what do you call those? The uh, oil They're lines. Like the fuel lines. Yeah, the fuel lines. Yeah. Um, to connect to that back panel, the one underneath the hinges. Mm -hmm. I think like there's three lines, two on one side and then one on one side. Yeah, damn. Yeah. yeah, I'm still learning a lot about the hydro setup stuff. It's still new, to, fairly new to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that the '64, the one with the switch, the hopper, mm. with the servos? 
That you, oh, the big one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Nice. Yeah. That thing looks clean. I like the stance of it, though, right there. Yeah. I've had it like that for a while. With the there's, front. There's times where I lift up the backs just so it's, like, leveled out. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that look, too. But I like the, the lift to look in the front and then the drop. The yeah, back. that looks sweet. Yeah. That's what's up. It's just that the switch box is in the room, so. <laughs> what's up with the caddy back there? Oh, the caddy? It's lurking. Yeah, man. I got yeah. This is a gift from you, actually. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> it's... Man, it's been a while. That thing's but, um, nice. It's the, clean though. The last thing I did was um, it's missing it's missing some pieces, but maybe you guys remember me posting about round, uh, shaping the the, the inner fenders. So that's like the last thing yeah, I remember doing. They're all smooth doing. now. Yeah. Before it was like there's all kinds of stuff. There's on like them. a bunch of like little components there I kind of didn't like. Yeah. And then I also created the little firewall I was right here, and um, I don't know where that's at. Oh, it's back here. But it's not too important. But the next thing is gonna be making. Um, I got a different engine for that. I haven't really posted about that. Kind of keeping it on the low. <laughs> um, but here's the firewall. Let me see if I can put it real quick. Um, I got it labeled because oh, it doesn't even matter. But so that goes. That slides in right there. I don't know how. Like a glove. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's there tight. might be some little tweaks I might need to do. Mm -hmm. um but i need to figure out like a radiator support i got a custom radiator um and then i also need to make an engine what do you call that an engine mount oh like the with the cross member there you go that bar that. yeah and then i also cut out the the, in the bottom piece mm. um, so i'm gonna make it all smooth down here yeah oh wow yeah big difference yeah That's i don't nice. know how i'm gonna do that but <laughs> it's gonna get done somehow mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then all the moldings are going to get sent to get crumb plated as well. Just the lower ones, I think. And then that middle one goes, has to be painted. Um, the color of the car. And then, Any thoughts of color and paint? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go like custom, like a full pattern paint job. Or just like a simple, nice color. Like a single color. But um, I think I'm, I'm going to end up doing just like a single color. Yeah. And then Damn, the trunk is also smoothed out. The bottom piece. Uh huh. Damn, I like when it's in these stages. Yeah, you can see the the work that goes into this. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then I added these little. I filled in the. There was like a little. I don't know how. I don't know how to describe that, but it didn't. That little piece right there, that little design, it stopped right here. So I kind of extended it all the way to the back. And that's gonna be used for the two wing for the hinge. That way, the two wing doesn't have to be all the way up here. Nice. I don't know if you guys understand that, <laughs> um, <laughs> but you you guys see it once it's like glued in there. I'll yeah. show you guys that. So you're gonna have the the hood and the uh, trunk hinge. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be all hinge. Nice. Um, I have a few reference pictures from Pancho's Cadillac, the red one. Um, so those are gonna help me to like create the the hinges. Cause it's different for every car because the hinge where you glue the hinge it's gonna be behind the firewall but i don't want to cut into the body well i might have to cut into the little firewall right there mm -hmm. to clear the hinges this is different for every car it's hard to explain honestly yeah but you i'll, I'll post that and try explaining it on my instagram or maybe make a youtube channel uh video sweet yeah um i don't know what other you want to 61. I know I, I oh, always yeah. see this one at the shows, but I don't know the history of this car. This like, one was uh, when that one came out. This one was actually um, for a build off. Um, as many of you guys might know, I was in Dynasty Car Club, Model Car Club back then. Wow. Um, <laughs> so it was a three months, three months um, build off with LUGK. So that's basically the story of this car. It took me like three months. Um, yeah, I, as you can see, maybe the colors, maybe they're not the best colors, but the, I think this was just my second paint job, pattern paint job. Wow, and this looks nice. I kind of went crazy with the patterns. I don't know if that's the And on the inside, too. Yeah. And then, so at this time, you were already developing that, like, in outward, inward Yeah. And then pattern. maybe you guys might get blown out with this right here. The screws are going to fall off, but it's all good. Wow. It's kind of broken, but it's all good. <laughs> mm -hmm. How long have you had this built up for, you think? Uh, maybe five years. Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks good. Yeah, thanks. Damn. Yeah. 
But yeah, I didn't even know the story. <laughs> no, yeah, so it was like a build off car. Yeah. And I was surprised I finished it in three months and I can't even finish these cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess because I was under pressure. I, like, I uh -huh. knew I, it had to get done. Yeah, it had to be done. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, that's the story behind that. That's dope. Thanks, thanks. That's what's up. Yeah. This is another one I don't really post mm -hmm. about. Yeah, that's uh, 67. 67. Um, um, that hood, is that a resin hood or did you make it's, that? Yeah, I made it. It's all plastic. So, mm -hmm. what I did was just fill in the bottom piece. Um, the little dents it had to go up. up. Uh -huh. I filled it all with glue and then I just sanded it smooth. And then on the top, I also did the same and I just added like a little piece of styrene mm -hmm. to create the little trim look right there. Yeah. And then. That yeah. looks good. That Thank trim you. because I know most of the these hoods, it's like the super sport mm -hmm. hood. And I know I got, I filled in mine with glue as well and I had to sand it down. Yeah. And the angle that it was, it was weird. It mm. still was about to like break through the center. Oh, okay. But I still managed to save the hood, but I did not put the trim piece. Oh, okay. Like on there. Yeah, yeah. And part of me was like, man, I should have probably put it on there. You yeah. Know? But um, another thing I did was add the side trim right there. Yeah, I I was gonna ask you about that because I mean obviously the the model does not come with that that yeah. side trim. Um, and you have to add that on there. I don't know if the light's too much. If it's too bright. Um, let me see. Let me just put it all there right back there. Yeah, that's cool right there. But yeah, man, it's crazy. Like, that looks dope. Yeah, I think it was Tito. Some of you guys might know him, Tito, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Um, he helped me out with the size trim. With the styrene I needed. So there's two different sizes. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I did that. I also created the skirts for it. Mm -hmm. With styrene. Wow. And, um, yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. What? And on the bottom. Oh, you like filled it in now with mm -hmm. that styrene? Yeah, it looks way cleaner. Yeah. Yeah, mine, <laughs> mine does not look like that. <laughs> yeah. Totally different. <laughs> oh, another thing I just noticed was the little, I just mold, I shaved the little panel right there. Mm hmm. I don't know if you. Tell. Is it where there's like the little ridges mm -hmm. or the little little like vents? little vents, yeah. There yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all gone. Yeah. Wow. That's dope. Wonderful. You never display it like that, huh? Without the hood? I think just one time. Yeah. Chrome plated? Yeah. Chrome tech. No Man. longer in business, I heard. <laughs> they're gone. they're gone. <laughs> Shut down their plants. <laughs> all the offices. Damn. That sucks, man, because I don't know who to hit up for chrome plating anymore but i'm sure there's a guy out there somewhere yeah somewhere yeah somewhere yeah send them this way <laughs> if you guys know of anyone <laughs> hell yeah man and then those are the other cars the six the 62 the pink one that was uh that was actually well before obviously this paint job was one of the first ones i did like an actual pattern paint job but i felt like i needed to update it so that's the new style I just need to figure out the color for the interior. Yeah. Because I got everything. The engine's chrome-plated. The suspension is all chrome-plated and everything. I just need to figure out the interior color and put it all together. Mm -hmm. Damn, it's just the interior. Just waiting on that. Mm -hmm. yep. And then the Black 62, I got that. I bought the kit from my friend in high school. I think he sold it to me for like 10 or 15 bucks. Um, and originally, like, I was just going to build a car and sell it just some make a quick buck but then i fell in love with it <laughs> there it is on the table quick buck <laughs> nice yeah yeah a right. bunch of people have been trying to buy it from me <laughs> they're like nah i ain't selling it yeah not for sale <laughs> yo that's dope and then this one here this one's famous right here the 59 right there scale auto magazine a scale auto magazine damn this is dope dude and nice. then also it's coming out on the gooseneck book oh yeah i saw that gooseneck magazine book yeah, I came out. Uh, he posted a picture of that from the pizza and night uh, meet that Alex hosted. Um, there it is. Yep. Jerry, right there. Damn. Where you at, dog? <laughs> Slide through. What up? Nah, hit us up. Yeah. Come over and chill out. Nah. <laughs> Dope, man. This is great work. Yeah, man. Thanks, thanks. Hell yeah. Looking forward to the next. And then the. Edgar 65 Lokes right here. Damn, right here. He brought the... Yup. I got work. the Ford and the... 
and the um, Merc. Yeah. The hard top. Chop top. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna take some pictures of them pretty soon right now. Dead end. With the dead end. Shout out to dead end. What's up? <laughs> That's dope. Hell yeah. Cool. Well, we'll be back, guys. <laughs>